not include me in any of your videos. Dude, you'll have to go, man. Seriously. I have to go? Yes, please. From the public side one? As far as I know, yeah. Why? Why are you What's filming? the reasoning, brother? Why are you covering your face? That looks silly. Uh, so here's the police. So what's the purpose of the picture taking? I'm asking what's your name you a badge number? Right there. You what, just what, walked so up and what's your name? Me. What's your name, sir? None of your business. Really? Yeah, really. What do you mean? How's it going guys? Watching the Watchmen here, out with Amagansett Press. And today we're in a little town all the way up in the northern tip of Maine by New Brunswick called Fort Kent. And uh, we're gonna walk around downtown here in Fort Kent, take some video and some pictures, and see if the folks here respect our right to do so, uh, or if we get hassled over the cameras. So we'll see how it goes. There's the post office, uh, some kind of restaurant or bakery or something right there. Coffee place. Uh, looks like uh, footwear, boot store type of place. And then over here is a family dollar, dollar store. Today is Monday, August 15th, 2022. It's 3.59 p.m. and uh, 81 degrees and mostly cloudy out today, so not too bad and should be interesting to see how it goes. Hey, make it out there, watch me. What's up? What's happening? What's going on? Fort Kent. Let's go check yeah. out the downtown district, see, see what's goes. happening. Fort Kent, for any of you guys who don't know, is on the... Uh, Canadian border. We went and checked that out yesterday. Um, got some cool pictures on the International Bridge. Went right up to the line. Uh, that's a pretty cool uh, mural there. So this building with the mural on it uh, has a cannabis dispensary inside and also a Chinese restaurant. We are on a 15,000 mile plus road trip right now for any of you guys who might be new to the channel. Uh, full time in the RV all around the country. And uh, if you guys want to support and make sure you never miss a new video, best way to do that is to subscribe, turn on notifications, and uh, you know, like, comment, all that stuff really helps. And if you guys are interested in finding any of my previous videos that you might not have seen, uh, or if you're new to the channel, I do have playlists for every state so you can see if we've been in your state. And I also have an interactive map with every video we've ever done, uh, little pins, link to that will be in the description. A bit odd. Seems like that guy is uh, complaining to them now. Mind if I ask what you guys are filming for? Oh, I'm just taking a video. All right, for what? I can't, I can't really get into it right now while I'm doing it, so. include me in any of your videos. You keep jumping out in front of the camera. No, well, looks like the guy who works here is coming out there. You guys are going to have to get out of here. Sorry? You guys are going to have to get out of here. You're going to have to get out of here? This is a medical place where people don't want this. And you can't even tell him what you guys are doing? Why would I have to tell anybody what I'm doing? You got cameras in our store. I don't have cameras in your store. I'm outside on the sidewalk. Dude, you'll have to go, man. Seriously. I have to go? Yes, please. From the public sidewalk. As far as I know, yeah. Why? Why are you What's filming? the reasoning, brother? Why are you covering your face? That looks silly. Oh, my God. It does. Well, you... We're grown men. What are you doing covering your face? It's foolish. Anyway, I'll talk to okay. you. Okay. Have a great day. You'll have to move. Why do I have to move? I'm asking you what the reason oh is. Oh my god. Me. Because people don't I'm want... sorry, I'm not Pavlov's dog. I'm gonna ask a question if you give me an order. Okay, then I'll just call the cops then. 
Call the cops? If you want me to, yeah, then you can deal I with it. I don't them. want you to call, please don't call the cops. Why would I want you to call the cops? First of all, you're not even telling me what you're doing. But why would I have to? <laughs> Go across the border, man, they're waiting for you. Unfortunately, when the police are calling. Alright, now the police are on the way. We have to stick around and uh, wait for them, so. Guy thinks he can kick people off the public sidewalk outside of his stupid store. Amazing. Think of the mentality of the person who thinks they can throw you off the sidewalk because you've taken pictures. You know, maybe you shouldn't work in a business on Main Street uh, in the biggest town for I don't know how many miles uh, with huge windows and not want to be seen doesn't really work that way. I'll never understand why people who claim they don't want to be on camera uh, make a spectacle of themselves in front of it. You could have just been on camera walking in and out of a business and now you're on camera making a fool of yourself. Uh, so you got to think about what you'd rather do uh, and how you'd rather appear in that video because it's not your choice whether somebody takes a picture in public or not. And uh, if you're going to confront them and get your face in their camera, obviously he wasn't that close, that's not what I'm saying, but if you're going to put yourself on camera, um, you got to consider how you're going to look. So now he's taking a picture of me, and that's not a problem. Um, but if we take pictures of him, that's an issue. So. Uh, All right, so, oh, so, so now you're a hypocrite, you're taking my picture. I'm not doing that. Isn't, don't you think that's a little hypocritical? I'm not going to answer your question. The cops okay. are coming here, man, so... The cops are coming? Yes, they are. So you called the police... Sure did. ...on a couple of guys taking pictures? Yeah, because you won't even tell you're, me what you're doing. You're a true American. <laughs> I'm not even going to... Why would I have to tell you what I'm doing, man? Have a good day, See, sir. See, you just want to make statements, uh, but there's no reason. There's no reason behind it. Sovereign your ass. Go smoke your weed and relax, man. Get a grip. Yeah, you heard me. Fat boy. Watch your mouth. <laughs> he says, watch your mouth. Comes out all aggressive like he's coming out because of something AP said. Uh, so here's the police. Fort Kent, uh, license plate 428941. Same as yesterday. So what's up with the picture taken? Well, I, you tell me. Well, uh, I mean, there's been a lot of crimes in town lately and thefts and stuff, and to sit out in front of a cannabis shop and start taking pictures of the big building, what's the purpose behind it? You think if I'm planning to come rob this cannabis yeah. shop, which you're insinuating, I'm going to show up with all this equipment in the middle of broad daylight? Just, I'm just asking a simple question. Um, you know what? That's a foolish way to think. I'm not even going to entertain that question. No? No. So what's the purpose of the cameras? To take pictures and video. For what purpose? For whatever purpose I choose. What do you mean? That's a silly question. We you just you just got out of your car without even speaking to me, without inter even introducing yourself. We, we received a call on it already. You guys did the same thing at the post office last week. Last week? I wasn't here last week. Or, or Thursday or Friday or whatever. I was. wasn't here Thursday or Friday. So that's why I'm here. To ask you a question. See now, you, see, so you're assuming two things. You're assuming I'm going to rob the cannabis store, well, it's and problem. you're assuming that I was the guy at the I'm post office last week. I'm not saying that you're going to uh, do anything. I'm, I'm asking you. What's your name? You a badge number. Right there. I don't know how to pronounce that. Well, it's you're, you, the you want me to just take running, a shot right? at it. Go ahead. How do you pronounce it? Belanger. Belanger. Okay. And what's your badge number? Four or five. Four or five. Now, do you want to start all over again and try to be professional? I am being professional. I'm no, you're really you, not. I'm asking you a question. No, you're really not. You just what, what, walked so up what's and your name? Me. What's your name, sir? None of your business. Really? Yeah, really. What do you mean? It's a foolish thing to say, my friend. Four or five to four, Kent. I'm walking down the street, okay? Visiting your town with my son. And we decide to walk down Main Street, downtown, and get some video of your town. And this is the re reception that I get from four the police department here. What is the issue with taking video? Can you have 400 or 401 assist me here? Yeah, you better. What is that, supervisor? 401. Can you meet with 
Anyways, that all I did is come here to ask you guys a simple question. All right, well, like Both I said, you. you want to start all over again and be professional? All right. Maybe not accuse me of... Uh, I'm not accusing you of anything. Sure, you got out of your car and talked I about asked you a question. I said, it, you know, we've had thefts in town, so I've asked you a question. All right, so what's the purpose of the picture taken? I'm traveling with my son taking okay. the video. See, that, so that, that's an honest answer, right? But it's none of your business. What? I mean, Why would that be your business? Because if something happens in town, we have records showing, hey, listen, there was somebody doing something over there. Not, I'm not so assuming you that you guys... So you somebody taking pictures with a possible crime? We, we want to know. It's, you want to know? If that's simple as that. I'm not, I'm not a, so saying you so guys... Right. So, so let's take it down a notch. Let's de-escalate here a okay. second. Let's talk man to man. Okay? All right. So your concern is that I'm out here with this amount of equipment, standing here in broad daylight, taking photographs and video, and I'm planning a robbery. I'm not assuming that you're planning a robbery. I'm not assuming nothing. I okay. just asked you a question of what you're doing. Well, I am not. I am not planning anything. There's nothing nefarious going on here. Okay, good. You haven't seen anything nefarious going on here. There's no, no hint of I just asked you guys what the, the right. camera. I mean, we don't see people out here with. And you know, I don't know what how much this equipment's worth, but you know, you don't see it every day. People out here just taking pictures. Of, I'm going to stand on this side just because the sun's blasting me in the eye here. Yeah. Not really comfortable, but. Uh, so what does that mean? Anything unusual? I mean, you don't see people riding down the street on a unicycle on a pink tutu, but if you did, you're going to stop them and ask them what they're doing? No. Right. But you wouldn't assume any, anything of a person riding, I'm not, listen, I'm not being racist or biased or anything else in that, in, in, uh, for that matter. Well, I asked you, I came here to ask you a simple question. All right. So what I think, just to give you one man's opinion, I think what you should have done was, is you should have done a drive-by, evaluate with your own eyes what you see is going on, Right? Then you come back, you speak to both parties, you do your investigation, you ask your questions. The and call you find came out what's in that there on. was somebody standing in front of the cannabis place right. with cameras taking pictures. Perfectly of it. legal, constitutionally protected not, activity. Not saying that it's not. Okay. So, but they were concerned that you guys had cameras outside. So All right, I just so came let me here. ask you a fair question. Are you here to uphold my constitutional rights or are you here to uphold their feelings? I'm here, here to for? make sure that nobody has their rights taken away from them and that if something happens where the law is broken that's where my job comes in your job comes in when the law is broken correct has there been any law broken so far listen i'll have you talk to my sergeant you can he, he can address you better than okay than very good I, am. I mean you don't want to answer the question to me i'm having a conversation well, I was, no, I'm, 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 all i'm saying is that listen i asked you a question why the cameras were out and you didn't give me an answer yeah, because of the way you got out of your car respect is not given out for free it's earned so you want to earn somebody's respect, that's what you do. Right? Hey, oh, no, it's all... What's going on? Just out on your sidewalk, taking a little video and photographs, and evidently uh, Officer Belanger, Correct. is that how you pronounce that? Yep. Has equated that with the uh, possibility that we might be up to something nefarious, planning a robbery of the cannabis store. So uh, so basically what happened is a couple people had called. Uh, someone called initially back when you guys were at the post office. Okay. And then they call, and then somebody else. And called. just to be clear, post office 15 minutes ago, not last week. Well, yeah, listen, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't get the call. I knew it was you guys so, had been out there before. So okay. yeah, I guess basically, it's not illegal to be recording. Of course it's not. Um, so I guess we're we were just concerned because we don't we don't know we didn't know why, and people are calling. So when people call, we kind of have to. And you know what? Up. The way you see, this is what I was trying to tell you, Officer Belanger. Yep. The sergeant here. There's a reason he's got those stripes on his arm. Correct. You got out of your car. Okay. Yep. Being very respectful, yep. asking the right questions okay. in the right tone, yep. and you're, we're having a cordial conversation, yeah. Yeah. which is a voluntary conversation. I don't even yeah. need to be speaking to you. No, no, no. I can just tell you I don't have a word to say to you. Go away and leave me alone. Yeah, and it's that's what, exactly what you would do. Yeah. But I'm not being that guy. I'm trying no, to have and, it. And I appreciate but it. But this gentleman got out of the car. First words out of his mouth is, well, we don't know if you're planning to uh, some kind of a robbery. First words out of my, out my mouth was, what are you doing on the, on the sidewalk with the camera? And what? I said to you, I'm taking video and pictures. Yeah, and I that's asked you, you for what per, for what purpose? That's, and I said that's none of your business. That's exactly. And that is none of his business, correct? But, I mean, I, I'm curious too, but I'm not saying that you you need to tell. Curiosity me. and your business are two different things, and you're being very professional, yeah. so I'm just you know yeah, yeah, coming yeah. down off of the conversation yeah, with him, and, and, and that's fine. But what I want you to understand is, yeah, okay, and the same question I asked Officer Bel Belanger, yeah, okay. He has to decide whether he's here to protect my constitutional rights, which is what he swore to do, yep. swore an oath to do, or if he's here to protect people's feelings. Right. That's and, your question. So, and, and I get people's feelings. Yeah, yeah, and I guess you know our concern is if we keep getting phone calls, we we kind of have to 
follow up. We well, can't, we can't just say, uh, don't, don't worry about it. We kind of have to go. Well, and... another option, okay, and I'm, I'm, I'm not telling you how to do your job, yep, but fine. another option is to drive by, observe with your own eyes what's going on, and if you don't see anything nefarious, you keep going. Yeah, In so, some cases, right? That happens. Also, so, yeah, so I mean, like you said, you can drive by, but I was coming back from another call. Officer Belanger was already here, so I, okay. I came directly here. Okay. Uh, but like I said, we got the call about the post office earlier, and I, I figured, well, okay, they're, if they're just reporting, they're just reporting. Right. But as we keep getting calls, then we kind well, of Well, I think the cannabis know, store probably told you a little bit more of a dramatic story. They, they may have. I don't even know, I'm gonna to, I'm gonna, to be honest. I'm going to do a public information request for the 911 call, so we'll see what they told you. I don't even, yeah, I'll be honest, I don't even know if it came in 911. I don't even know how it Whatever came in. Whatever it was, we'll get the phone call. But, yeah, okay. Um, part of my concern here also is not just upholding my right to take photographs and video. Yep. Uh, part of my concern is people calling up the police department and sensationalizing something and having you come in hot or with some idea in your head that there's something going on that may not be just because they got upset and they want to drama everything up and ramp it up and then you get here expecting something that's not going on. Yeah, and so I, you didn't do that here today, but Officer Belanger might have been on that page a little bit. So I mean, I, All I was asking is the question as to what, what y'all were doing. I, I simply asked the question. But what's the reason for the the cameras and the picture? No, you taken? were getting a little upset. I was not. Sure anyway. you were. Sure you were. Well, so, I mean, if that's what you so, felt, then you so, felt that. What, what's, your, what's the purpose of the cameras? To take pictures and video. For what purpose? I'm what's asking your name you. What's your badge number? Right there. What's, what's your name? What's your name, sir? None of your business. Really? Yeah, really. What do you mean? It's a first name, so I can be on a first name basis. You anyways. know what? You you are being respectful, so yep. I'll give you my first. And that's the only reason I'm giving it to yep. you. Otherwise, I tell you to keep it. I appreciate it. So my first name's Jason. Jason. Okay. So, so Jason. And you'll know, you'll figure out who I am. I'm not hiding who I am. Okay, and that and that's fine. So Jason, like, I, the only thing is, if a business is calling, just out of respect for a business, I guess. Right. If if you would avoid videoing after, if they've called and they don't want your videotaping, I guess out of respect for the business and their right. Well, I'll you, tell you yeah, what. I'm going to answer that for you. And you just you just thought of the answer. I'm going to give and you. You know what I'm going to say. Honest, you have the right to do so. No, not only that. How, how much are they respecting my right to be out here taking video? And yeah. now you want me to respect their right to privacy and, when and they're on Main Street with five yeah, and, by six glass and, windows? And I get that. Yeah, I, so I, I completely get I, that. I, I plan to hang out here in video a little longer okay. after you guys leave. Okay. And Normally, that, I would. I probably would have been gone already. Okay. But and, they decided to create a situation out of it, and here we are. Okay. And I, and well, it's, it's not a situation. Fine. You guys are allowed to video tape all you want. It's right. not. Well, you've got a whole brand new attitude now. No, like yeah, I said, I, ju I just came here to ask a question. Yeah. And that's fine. Well, listen, my camera's running, too. So yeah, your your cameras, that video tends to disappear sometimes. It's not this gonna one disappear. Doesn't. So I'm live streaming to the internet right now. <laughs> so so that's fine, Jason. Uh, I got no issue with this. If you want to record, you you're, you have the right to record. I know that. Like I said, it, and I appreciate you acknowledging that. Yep. Yeah. And I would have also appreciated if you would uphold and defend my right to be out yeah, here. Yeah. And like I said, not, not only do I want you to acknowledge the fact that I can do that, yeah. I want you to defend that right because that's an oath you took and you swore to do. Yeah. It. So like I said, I'm, I'm not I'm not telling you you can't do it. And I'm not uh, I'm not telling you you have to leave. I'm not doing that. No. What you should be telling me is you're going to go inside and educate these folks. So, and I think that you're in a very unique position. Okay, because I think a lot of the people in this country take what law enforcement as an authority yep. figure says and values that very much. So if you go in there and tell him I'm breaking the law, he's going to be under the impression I'm breaking the law. If you go in there and tell him it's my right, they should leave me alone. I have a perfectly constitutional right, lawful right to be out here right. doing what I'm doing. Yep. They will accept that from you more than they'll accept it from me right. because and, you're and, the authority. And I will, I will right? speak to them. So uh, you could also... By doing that and taking those steps each day, mm -hmm. after a while, you might condition everybody to realize that there's nothing to be afraid of when somebody's taking a picture. Yeah. Because right now they're conditioned to go into fear mode. Well, and I think that we're from a smaller area, so we we are kind of not necessarily guarded, but we don't normally see cameras out on Main Street. You know what I mean? It's not often that people are out recording on Main Street when there's you know nothing going on. So I think people just kind of look at that as you know. What's the reasoning to well, it? Well, all right, and I, so, I get that, and yeah. I'll give you that. But yep. my question to you then would be, yep. why does everybody's mind go to the negative? Why would you assume? If I, me personally, if I saw somebody out taking pictures, yep. I would look over at them, see them taking pictures, and carry on my day. I don't even yep. care what they're doing. Yeah, it's none of my business. And, and why would I automatically think there's something nefarious? Right. And, and like I said, I don't. I I don't think you're doing anything wrong by videotaping. I I, I don't care. That's that's fine. I I got no problem with it. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
It'd be so as far as the law goes, it'd be different if you were si say inside the store and recording, and they didn't want you to be inside. Well, that's private then, property. Then right, of then course. that's a different thing. But you're here on the sidewalk taking video. That's fine. I got no problem with that. Okay. Okay. So um, they said I don't have an issue with it. I'll speak with them. I'll explain to them that you guys are in a public setting that you can record and you can do stuff like that. Okay. Um, so I mean. Just avoid if they come out and they start giving you a hard time, call, call us so we can at least intervene. And we if can, you go in there and tell them I'm within my rights and lawfully yeah. doing what I'm doing, they're not going to come out but and say anything. It doesn't necessarily mean that they'll agree with my my explanation. Well, if they want to go ahead and you start know, an issue, then they can yeah. be conducting themselves disorderly or whatever they want. Right, to and, and I'd I rather don't get yeah, into that. Yeah. yeah, and I'd rather you call me if that ends up happening so that way we can just get okay. this all settled. And I just want you to know, Officer Belanger, I'd like to end it on a good note. Yeah. I like to leave things uh, Listen, absolutely. Listen, let me just tell you. Anytime you want, you're more than welcome to come into our town. Anytime. Let me, let me just tell you that what my purpose out here, this is my son. Yeah, yeah you okay. stated that. Well, I don't know. Uh, yeah, Sarge I didn't know that. that. So. Right. Yeah. Sarge didn't know that. Yeah. So the purpose of me being out here, okay, is to simply exercise my right to take video and photographs in public. Well, good. Yeah. Okay? Yep. Our Constitution's taking a prover proverbial ass kick in these days. Mm -hmm. Right, and everybody likes to complain about it, but nobody does anything about it. Right. So, in a very passive way, civil disobedience, whatever you want to call it, I'm out exercising my rights, and it's a shame that people see that as civil disobedience. But a camera's become an evil thing these days, for some reason. and I'd like to get rid of that. And I'd also like to run into officers such as yourself. I would appreciate it if you would take the time in your mind to consider this as I do, a learning experience. Everything that oh, happens absolutely. in life will make you a better person tomorrow, if you see it that way, right? right? So maybe you've gotten a couple ideas of how you could have better handled this. Thing. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. When, you, when you got and out Like I said, I, I, I got out, and uh, all I wanted to know was, you know, the purpose of your being here. You've already explained it to me now. But and, uh, so, what, I would you, what would you have done if I didn't explain it to you? If I just well, said, I mean, I don't listen, to speak I, to you. well, that's fine. I mean, you didn't have to speak to me, right? Well, it seemed like you were not happy with that answer. Well, no. I'll say I mean, I, because I get a call. As, you, as an officer, you come here, you say, well... What's the purpose of the you know being out here? Well, I mean, you, you, so go, you know, I would like I was saying to the Sarge. Yeah. You know, I've been in a lot of situations where people will call up literally. I have a camera. People will call up the police department and say he's threatening people. He's got a gun. He's doing this. He's doing that. Totally not true. Complete BS. Yes. Made so up fabricate. And then you're driving here 90 miles an hour. Do you know what the leading cause of police officer deaths are in this country? Well, suicides are number one. But then no, uh, traffic accidents are number one. Suicides might be a close number two, which that's a whole other conversation. But, but yeah, anyway, that's a so whole So I don't need beast, you guys coming in hot, code three, yeah, no, and I, when there's no, no reason for And it. I don't know if you know, I didn't have lights and sirens. I didn't have anything. No, not there. here today, but that happens. Yeah, well, because yeah. People, yeah, yeah. So you have to, you know as well as I do, people love to exaggerate. Right. People and, and, call up the police and they'll tell you all kinds of tales, and then you get here and none of that's going yeah, on. Yeah, and I'm yeah. not going to argue so that because So all that I'm saying is the next time you come across a guy with a camera, or exercising any other of their constitutional rights yep. being completely lawful, don't come in hot on them, man. No. Just get here and try to uphold the most important thing, even above enforcing the laws of the land, yep. is to honor your oath to our constitution. Yeah, absolutely. That is the law of the land. That's A number one. Yep. And that's all it's about. And any law that exists that's contrary to the constitution is unconstitutional. And it just needs to go through the process of law for it to be deemed that, and then that'll be the case right there. Right. But Stick to the Constitution. Stick to your oath. You swore to it. Are right, either yeah. one of you in the military? I was not, no. No, no my, myself either, no. I only asked because I was going to say then you swore two oaths. Right, yeah. Right. <laughs> right. So, yeah. uh... But yeah, no, like Jason, I, you know, like I said, I don't care if you want to record, that's fine. If, if that's all you're doing is just recording, I got no issues with that. Okay. But I also, beyond that, I hope this is a learning moment. Yeah, and For like, all of us. And like I said, I, me coming here, I, I didn't really know what was going on. To be honest, I was on another call. Right. Um, so I basically came here just to help Officer Belanger, but knowing what's going on, you're, you're not doing anything wrong. Right. I, I got no issues with Well, this. like I said, I just hope that, you know, everything, there's always opportunity is everywhere in this world for yep. an education. Yep. And I'm out with my son. I'm not looking to educate people exclusively. I'm yep. looking to educate myself, educate my son. We can all learn something from everything that oh, happens. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the goal. We're trying to be productive. Yep. We're not out here looking to cause trouble. We weren't yelling at anybody. I wasn't sticking my cameras in their windows, yeah, yeah, which yeah. I could. Yeah. I could walk right up to the glass and stick my camera in the window. And if they want to close the blinds, that's up to them. Like, so we, we didn't do that. Yeah. And, and I, like I said, I appreciate you being cordial about everything and sit right back you know, at you. And understanding. Yep. Well, so. that's why you got the conversation on me because you showed up giving respect. Yep. I said to Officer Belanger, 
Respect is not given away for free. Right. You earn it. Yep. So you earn my respect, and I give it back. And, and I appreciate that. And yeah. you've, you know, coming around, you've earned my respect as well. So I have no hard feelings. <laughs> no, I, I, like, I didn't. I got a job to do. They just called, said, "Hey, listen, there's somebody out here with cameras." You know what? There's it's a lot, lot of I, cops. The conversation you and I had. There's a lot of cops that would just pull their handcuffs out. Yeah, no. I, so. We, I never know who I'm, just like you never know who you're dealing with when yeah. you show up, I don't know who I'm dealing with either. Yeah. Right. You guys got a lot of hotheads. There's a lot of good policing in this country. Oh, yeah. And we support good policing. Yeah. Yeah. But then there's also a lot of not so much. Yeah. And, and we love we love we love finding those guys and exposing them. Yep. But we also like celebrating the successes. Yep. yep. So and I appreciate that. And like I said, here in Fort Kent we, we do have a good group of officers and, and Chief is great, so and I think we're pretty fortunate here. I mean, unfortunately, there are some elsewhere that give a bad name to well, all Well, nobody will ever say there's any in their department. What's well, that? All, all I, you, know what, you know what your worst enemy is? What's that? I always ask police officers when I speak to them, do you know what your worst enemy is? No. Nope. A bad cop. <laughs> no? Well, yeah. Bad cops are out getting good cops hurt and killed and in bad situations and arrested and yep. lost oh, absolutely. all over the country. Yep, absolutely. So if you see another cop doing something they're not supposed to be doing, yeah, you guys speak up. I don't want you to ruin anybody's life. Take them in the locker room. Yep. Have a conversation. Yep. And put an end to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely something that you needs know, to be You know, because, you know, just because there are good cops and bad cops, yep. if a bad cop does something wrong and the good cop just stands by watching that, he's now joined a member of the bad club. Yeah. And, and we don't want to see that happen. Yeah, see something, say something. We so. want the little kids in this country to respect you guys. Yep. And yeah, look absolutely. up to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And. Right now, that's kind of on the fence, and we want to try to. What I'm doing here today also is giving you an opportunity to shine, yep. man, and you've yep. taken that. Well, I and so have you at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. So I know I really do. I, yeah. I like leaving things on a positive note. Yeah, absolutely. And I appreciate it. Yep, and I appreciate you well, guys as well. It was nice, me and, nice and meeting actually, you guys. Like I'm gonna I said, go follow up. You know, with them. May, may have started a little steamy, but it ended good. So let's. let's yeah. All's well that ends well. Right. Right. Absolutely. Right. Right. absolutely. That's it. No, and really, you never know. And you know how many times I say to people. This could seem like a very benign conversation that went nowhere, waste of time, whatever. Six months, a year down the road, this conversation might spur something in your mind that actually might save somebody from something or yeah, might help me out right. down the road. You never know. So yep. It's all valuable. Right, absolutely. And we appreciate that. So, so what I'm, I'm going to do I'm is... Gonna, I'm just going to take the time to go in. I'll talk yeah, to you. Yeah, we're going to go in there. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what I'm going to do. After you guys leave, we're going to stick around for I don't want to give them the appearance that I got chased off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll take off. That's all fine. Right. That's it. And, and you... I appreciate that, and again, I appreciate the, the cordial respect. Right back each at other. you, brother. We so appreciate, appreciate you too. that. All right. It's nice being right, both yeah. here. Take care, guys. Take care. Don't buy anything while you're in there. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff and he understands you guys are just videotaping stuff. Okay. He said his biggest concern was that they do have medical marijuana users that okay. like their, I guess basically like to be private because it is a medical thing. Right. Uh, which I guess I get that point in a way. Okay. Um, like I said, I have no issues you recording sidewalk and all that stuff, but as far as like sticking your cameras in, if as far as for the rights of the people with medical marijuana, right. I guess if we can just respect their rights. Well, that you're, you're asking me to do it. Yeah, and, yeah. Let me let me explain to you how that works. Yeah. Okay. So, being that it's a medical facility. Yep. Okay. They may have some HIPAA guidelines. Right. That they have to deal with. Right. Okay. And that's kind of where I'm going with that. Now the yeah. way HIPAA works is, the only people that are bound by HIPAA rules and regulations are people that are trained and certified in HIPAA. Okay. Okay. That doesn't apply to me. Okay. So what the HIPAA rules and regulations state is that they are obligated to maintain the privacy of their. Right. Patients. Yeah, right, right. I'm not. Right, and I if guess... They, if, they, if they took somebody's private medical information and put it on the window, I could stand there and film it all day. Right. So, just to come back at you with the theory of they're looking for privacy for their patients. Right. Like I said before, five foot by six foot glass windows on Main Street. And, and there I, is no privacy. And I and I get that. I guess that was his his reason for calling is, you know, I, I'm just kind of looking out for my... Well, they could put blinds on the windows. Yeah, and, and I, I And did you know that. in other states... It's maybe not, I guess not in Maine, but maybe in other states, to, yeah. you, like in Colorado, yep. it's unlawful for anybody to be able to see into the dispensary from the sidewalk. Right, yeah, yep. And uh, I, I'd have to check on that because I'm not 100% sure if that's that way in Maine, but I... I yeah, you might, he might have called the police on himself. I might. Uh, I almost think that it might be part of that, but uh, I'll have to check into that part. 
But like I said, because, and I just want to show it, just yep. so my viewers can see too as well. If I want to do this, yep. right in that window, and film everybody inside of that store, if I want to be a nice guy and not do that because they asked me not to, of course I can do that. Yeah. But when somebody tells me I'm lawfully not allowed to, you didn't say that. Yeah. But I'm yeah. saying if somebody tells me I'm lawfully not allowed to, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah. Because my whole point in being out here is to exercise yep. my yep. rights. Yep. And, and I, I don't have a problem with the exercise that's your it. rights at all. So, so. I guess I, I understand his concern. It's I guess there was just a just went about it in a bad way. There was a miscommunication, I guess. Well, yeah, he wasn't being very friendly when he came out yeah. and asked me so, what was going on. So I guess his point ultimately was that he, he was concerned about the privacy of the people getting medical marijuana. Well, but like so. I said, don't you think it would be smart if that's the case for them to do something about these windows? Yeah. It's right. not about asking people walking on the sidewalk not to look in. Yeah, That's right. foolish. Yeah, and I mean... And my eyes and the camera's the same thing. Right, you're allowed to window shop and... You know, I could put my hands on the glass and stare in the window. I put my lens on the glass right. all day long and right. stay here as long as they're open all day. Yep. And, and there's nothing they could do about it. Yeah. And like not, said, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I, and I know that. But uh, like I said, I guess that's why that was his reasoning for calling us is because he didn't want to deter his customers from going in and the medical customers right. and stuff. So, which I guess I get to an extent. But well, as but you, it could have been you, done not, differently. Not as a law enforcement. You get that as a human being. Right. Not as a law enforcement. Right. Because like I said, your decision here which I think you made the right decision here today, but your decision here is whether or not to uphold his feelings or to uphold my rights. Right. So that's a no-brainer. Yeah, yeah. His feelings right. are what they are. And I think the more, do you have kids? I don't, no. The more you coddle their feelings, the yeah. more sensitive they're going to be. Right. Sometimes people just need to be told, you know, yeah. pull your pants up, fly right. If you want privacy, create it. Right. Or in public. Yep. There is no expectation of privacy right. in public. Right, and I, I, I don't disagree with that. I, uh, I'll have to check as far as main logos for the marijuana dispensary. Oh, well, stuff. I'm going to check now, yeah. too. Uh, but, yeah, so, like I said, anyway, I guess that was his reason for calling, but okay. just went about it in a bad way, I guess. But. Definitely did. Anyway. And I'm glad there's a reason you got those stripes on your arm, and I appreciate <laughs> No, I, well, you know I, what? I, there's a lot of sergeants out there that aren't that way. Yeah. And, and I, they get their guys in trouble, and they get other people in trouble, and it's all a bunch of hurt that doesn't need to happen. Right. And I, and I appreciate that. So, anyway, like I said, Jason, you guys are all saying it was all right, nice meeting you guys. Sergeant Albert, we yep. appreciate you. Take care. You have a wonderful right. day. See you guys. Sergeant Major, you have a good Peace day. Take care. Take care. And do me a favor, honor your oath. I will. It's very important. Yep. This country's in a bad way, and we need you guys to stand up and do the right thing. I appreciate that. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Yeah. Thank you. See you guys. So there goes uh, Belanger. Got a good education there, here today. And hopefully the cannabis place get, has... Uh, received a good education here today uh you never know we're gonna stick around for a little bit just so it doesn't look like we got chased away but uh they could come back out hopefully they don't hopefully they learn their lesson um about our right to take pictures and video in public and they don't give the next guy a hard time you saw how that went let me know what you think in the comments contact info is always in the description as usual uh, if you want to contact the police department or full bloom cannabis here in fort kent maine and let them know uh what you think of how they acted in this video a lot of good info in the description as usual. I have all my videos organized by state in the playlist, so you can see if we've been in your state. And a lot of other good stuff down there. The link to my other social medias, Instagram and Twitter. Uh, never on Facebook, we don't use Facebook. Uh, a lot of fake accounts pretending to be us on there. But um, make sure you check out all that info in the description if you're interested. And if you like these videos, you appreciate what we do, you enjoyed this one, and you want to see us make more videos on our 15,000 mile plus road trip all around the country. Uh, best way to help us out is to like, comment, subscribe, Turn on notifications, check out my other social medias, uh, Instagram and Twitter. Watching Watchmen, out with Amagansett Press, here at the uh, Full Bloom Cannabis Dispensary in Fort Kent, Maine. See you in the next one, guys. Out.